Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm literally going to smash out the quickest video ever, um, Wamo Baby Naps. So it involves this big glass jar and this beautiful Poya serpents that I mounted on a, a fern pole. Um, this guy has been living in my green, in my green, well, in my greenhouse, in my prop box. Um, until I found something to put it in that I can display it in my home with. Um, so now is that time. I want to be able to look at it every day um, and to retain this life on it. Um, it needs to be kept constantly moist. So I thought this big glass jar that seals will be the perfect thing to display it inside and retain the moisture. So. I have a bit of a plan that I've kind of just made up in my head as of like 10 minutes ago um, using some garden wire and what I'm thinking of doing is bending and making some sort of stand that I can poke in the bottom of this and have it sitting upright in the jar. That's the plan. Um, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> Okay, I've put my hair up and I've probably literally got maybe 10 minutes to do this. So let me let me position the camera so you can see what I'm doing um, and we'll just get started. Hopefully it doesn't go too in and out of focus, but you'll be looking at my midsection. <laughs> um, so this is it here. So basically what I'm going to do is pull out a section of wire. Um, I think I might like wrap it. I'm totally just winging this, but I'm stabbing the wire in the fern and then I'm just gonna wrap it around a few times. Okay, and then I should pull more out. Just pull a whole heap out and then I'll cut it off. I don't normally like to rush these things, but um, when you have a baby and you've only got a certain amount of time to do things, sometimes it's just the only way. So, oops, I just knocked off a leaf then. So basically what I've done is I've wrapped the wire around the fern pole. Um, And basically, I'm just going to try and make some sort of like stand for it, I guess. I don't actually, I don't actually have a plan. I'm kind of just, kind of just winging it like I do with everything in my life. <laughs> okay. Okay. Scrap that. Okay, so after playing around with the wire, it's not going to work. So I've put a base of liquor in the bottom of the jar, and I literally just have plonked it in there. Um, I'm thinking I might put a layer of live moss in there as well, so that can sort of grow and keep the humidity in and look cool. Um, but other than that, I think I'm happy with that. So I added the moss around. I'm happy with that. I think that looks pretty cool. I will go and find a home for it inside and then I will show you where I've put it. So I think it's going to take pride of place on my plant shelf here. Um, closest to the window. I think it looks really good. I can't wait to see the moss grow um, and I can't wait to see the hoya grow and the little ferns that are growing out of the fern totem. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below um, what you think of it. Okay guys, that's it for this quick 
slightly awkward video. Um, I just, I wanted to document it um, and I wanted to show you guys how cool the Mounted Hoya Serpents is doing. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, and also let me know if you have mounted Hoya. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.